Hey Mavens! In this tutorial, you guys are going to learn how to create a really soft spring makeup look using blue eyeshadows. Blue eyeshadow really can be worn by anybody. It's one of my favorite colors and it can certainly be altered depending on your complexion. I'm going to show you how to do a simple eyeshadow look with blue. I'm going to then sort of move into an enhanced version and then of course the full like makeover magic. I hope you like it. Uh, stay tuned and see you in a minute. So my eyebrows are already done. I didn't want to waste time doing that. And my um, primer is already on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use this MAC eyesh eyeliner pencil in Industrial. It's a gorgeous, it's like a, it's really pretty really pretty blue. Um, I'm going to actually use this instead of using this as a eyeliner pencil only, I'm going to actually use it as an eyeshadow base. So all I'm going to do is literally just color this on my eyelid. Now these are like glide on sort of gel pencils. Right? So if you're kind of sort of set for time and you only have a few minutes, you could really easily do something like this. And then I will put a little under my eye, like kind of on the edge, you see. And then I'm just going to use some mascara. I like the Max Factor Masterpiece Mascara. Um, and I feel like I got it from a drugstore, but I don't know, I don't remember when. Max Factor is kind of hard to find now. So, this could certainly just be a really quick way to incorporate some color into your makeup wardrobe without it being so overwhelming. And then I would go on and just do some quick foundation, which for this one... I'm using Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation in the color um, Beige Amber 44. I can do 44 or 54. Depends on the season. So if you've seen, again, just really quickly, I'm just kind of adding some on, right? Pretty light. Pretty easy. A little bit of concealer just to kind of cover up the dark circles and make it look like I slept which most nights I don't because you know kids and jobs and stuff um, and then the last thing would just be uh, a quick you know lip gloss so I just decided to use a pink one because I really like pink for springtime looks right and then for my cheeks, um, I like blush creams a lot. So this is one by MAC called um, Fabulous, but ELF has them. A lot of other brands have them. Sort of a coral color because it matches my skin. I've been using it for years. See how easy that is? And then if I had to go to work, I would just... You know, take my hair down and put a clip or a bow or something in it and, you know, I'm out the door. So in less than, I don't know, what, five minutes or so, I've just done blue eyes, some really quick blush, a nice pink gloss, and I'm done. Again, this is just for quick if you don't have a lot of time but I will in the next segment I'm going to amp it up a little bit so be right back and just like that I'm back I took my foundation off from the bottom and I also took the lip gloss off this option is a little bit more enhanced I would say um, I'm just gonna add a, a eyeshadow on top of this and then we'll see how it works. So the first one I want to use is an eyeshadow by MAC called Shimmer Moss. 
That doesn't mean you have to use the color. You could really find whatever color you like. But this is the one that sort of grabbed me this morning. So I'm just going to use um, an eyeshadow brush, a one for the, the lid. And I'm actually going to add it on top of that blue pencil. So now the two colors are sort of working together. Now because this is an eyeshadow color, I'm going to certainly blend it in with something else. I'm not going to just leave it where it's just green or just blue and then I'm walking out the door. I'm not going to do that. I'm now going to take sort of a darker cobalt blue. I'm going to just use a crease brush and dip my brush into it, into the cobalt blue. See that? How it just gives it some depth. See? Sorry, the studio phone was ringing. Don't people know I'm recording? Makeup Geek Creme Brulee. So that looks like my skin. And I tend to just go over the blue with the transition color. So that way it's not like blue and then skin. Some people do transition color first. Some people do it last. You, you sort of develop your own technique of what you like best. Instead of doing a black liner, I think I want to do a navy blue called Petrol Blue. This is also a MAC one. So I'll just go right on the top, right? Right on the top line. And I'm going to kind of smudge it out a little bit so it doesn't really need to be perfection right now. I'm just going to smudge it in. Um, there are times when I will make it a lot more precise, but when I do spring colors, I just like to see all of the color. I like to see the blending up and the blending down and how one color diffuses into another one. So a lot of times when I do brighter colors, I don't always do like cut, you know, I don't always do that. So then I would do this, right? Kind of leave it at this. Go back to my trusty uh, Max Factor. Put a little mascara on. Right? Top and bottom. Do my foundation. And keep it moving. Do a nice pretty lip color. Pink or mauve or peach or something like that. And then I keep, keep it moving. But the next step I will do will be like full on. If I was like really trying to do it. So be right back. Now I'm going to do like full on shadow. So your first was quick simple for work. Second one was a little advanced and this is like total makeover magic at this point. Okay so I've already done sort of my diffused blue. Now I actually will create a more I guess a more dominant sort of crease color and I'm going to just use a deep navy. Part of the reason I'm, I'm not going to actually I'll show it to you in this kit. It's a blue it's this blue. Wait. It's that blue right there. Now, I don't really care whose blue you use because so many brands now, even drugstore brands, are like amazing with their pigment. So if you find one by L'Oreal that you like, use it. If you find one by Wet n Wild, use it. If you find one by Smashbox or Tarte or something like that, then use it. Use whatever you like. I always say when you're choosing a color, Make sure you can't see your skin through it. If you can see your skin through it, it's not going to be a good color for you. So I just kind of I just kind of laid that color down and now I'm going to take a really thin crease brush and really blend it out. And the beauty of makeup is that like you determine 
the level of intensity. If I was doing a stage show, this wouldn't be nearly as intense enough. But, you know, I feel like kind of playing around a little bit. And so, here we go. I'm going to also line under here. Make sure I'm not scratching my eyes. Same thing on this side. I actually want to do one more thing. I'm going to actually add a deep purple. It's like a really pretty eggplant purple. Just to, again to give it like some depth. I'm just kind of building that out a little bit. The last thing I'm going to do, I actually have a pigment that I pressed myself. It's like a teal aqua color. I'm going to spray my br brush with a vein, I think that's how you pronounce this, a vein water. It's just thermal water. And then I'm going to add it to the center here. Ooh, ah. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I use the thermal water just because it has a cooling sensation. But look, you can use tap water, it'll be fine. But the last thing I'm going to do for my eyes is actually use this NYX Liquid Crystal Liner. It is like a beautiful turquoise, glittery, sparkly liner. Just to add a little bit of cute in your faceness. Like it's just enough to like, when you look at someone, you're like sparkle genius. And here you have the final look. So I just added some foundation, which was my Chanel Perfection Lumiere. I powdered it with a colorless powder. I added a blush by a brand called Sleek Cosmetics in Rose Gold. I also gave myself some radiance with Bare Minerals Rose Radiance. And then I just added a pink lip gloss and that was it. So with the three steps, you know, the first one is really quick. The second one is a little enhancement. And then this one, of course, is if you really just want to play in the makeup. I did not bake again. I did not contour. I add a little, I'm sorry, I add a little bronzer. Um, but I didn't do like a hardcore contour. Like you can barely see. It's just a little just a little bit of bronzer it's just a little bit everything I do I just try to do a little bit and if I want to make an enhancement a little bit more and I'm done that's it so if you liked it please comment please subscribe put everything in the message box and um, I'll put a list of the products that we used sort of from start to finish and I'll categorize them for you with the quick one the the advanced one or, I'm sorry the quick one the enhanced one, and then of course like the full-fledged uh, makeup look. So you determine what's your level. You determine the products that you like to use. You know, that's completely up to you. I just like to show you the technique. So hopefully I was helpful. I love this look. I love colors. And I'll see you guys on the next go-around.